Hey folks, welcome to Fuel the Fire TV. We're in Providence Bay, Ontario, and you're watching our moose episode. We're also chasing the salmon classic from the Manitoulin Expositor. We're full on with moose action and salmon action. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. Life offers no guarantees, but the one thing that we've learned for sure is that the time we have is indeed precious. The more time we spend with family, with friends and with nature can make the difference between living a good life and living a great one. Join us on our quest to be participants rather than observers, to learn from our mistakes, to share our successes and our failures as we spend all the time we have chasing our dreams, fueling our passion and fueling our fire in the great outdoors. Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by Closed captioning for Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by Island Sunrise Cottages, Fishing and Hunting Outfitters. These are the mornings that we hunters dream about. When that frost hits the ground and you get to see it. It's just fantastic. It actually makes me think that we're proving something wrong. That old adage that you can't have your cake and eat it too. These are the mornings that keep us coming back over and over and over again. That big bull could be just 800 yards away and maybe this call will bring him in. folks we had two bulls come in this morning they were smaller bulls here's a learning curve tip for you when an animal is there especially a moose and you hear them right after you've made a call don't over call they know you're there we waited 20 minutes before those moose actually stepped out we didn't scare them away by over calling or by being too aggressive it stepped out at about 50 yards but it was trying to get our wind and it got our wind and just walked away. We didn't get a shot. Either one of those moves I would have been happy to take with my bow, but they live to see another day. Okay, we just got into our evening setup. We're gonna try and put up a stand real quick and we're hoping uh, that the wind dies down. The temperature's perfect, but if that wind dies down, it's coming right across this way from us and uh, we're hoping to pull that little bull out of here. Hopefully this plan comes together. I'm up at a tree stand where there's a lake behind me. Warren is to my right. He's calling and he's mobile. He can move back or forth. If we've got one coming in from the east, from the west, then he can move over to the east and vice versa. The camera stand is on a, on a swivel arm, so it gives us a little bit more versatility as far as, as, far as positioning is concerned.
right there. 55 yards. He must have picked up our scent. He had his nose down. And he came all the way around us. And then he was out at about 80. Son of a gun. A nice ball, too. Wow, that was intense. Fuel the fire, baby. Fuel the fire. This segment of Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by Noble Lumber. That was pretty cool. Um, when we dropped off the trailer last week, we were in here and saw some fresh sign, um, like day old or whatever. And uh, we thought we'd just come in and check this place out, hoping we'd be in on a big bull. And as you saw, we saw two, two small young bulls, but man, that was fun. There's so much to think about. Um, I didn't press the GoPro. Uh, 
But you know, it's my first moose with a bow. I've been in close on, on lots of times. This is the closest I've been. And uh, just when I had the shot, um, I, just before I came to that full anchor position, he locked his elbow covering his, that, and turned and covered his vitals. And so as soon as I locked, he opened up and, and uh, turned, to the, turned to the right and uh, didn't give me the shot I wanted. But you know, those things always happen for a reason. And uh, we were able to get within killing distance on that, on, on those moose and tried calling them back. So that sets us up for hopefully a good week. We're back at it again for a moose in central Ontario. It's October 16th, it's the day before my birthday. This is gonna happen. I've always gone for a birthday buck. This year we're going for a birthday bull. We have a young lad with us, Jess, who's trying to get his first moose. And he's rifle hunting, so we're either getting a bull with a bow or Jess his first moose. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. This segment of Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by Wequemekong Tourism. We're hunting uh, a new cut. It's a huge cut. We're, we call it Karma Cut. For, it actually is a huge uh, mountaintop that comes all the way around and uh, it's got a lake to the to uh, my left and there's another couple of lakes in and around uh, this whole great big uh, knoll. Okay Jess, get ready. Get ready. Right or left, right or left. We're gonna take the back one, it's the back one. Okay, just get ready. The one at the back. I can't range him though. I think it's 400. Sit your dirt to find you. Oh, I gotta get back on him. Ah, oh, he's starting to move. He's starting to move. Are you on him? I don't know if that's the cow or the bull. Wait, if you see his head, wait till his head turns. Wait till his head turns. Make sure that it's that bull. Oh, he's starting to go. Oh, oh my god. He's moving, he's moving. You got no shot there, there's no shot. Ah, uh, sure is. Oh, he's starting to turn. Is he turning? No, he's, he's... Oh, I can't range him. Son of a gun. Birch tree's in the way. Shoot. Darn it. Uh, we didn't take our shot on a, on a decent bull. He had some good paddles. Probably in and around 45, 50 inches, which is a real good bull. Uh, for central Ontario. Putting a lot of pressure on Jess to get that shot done. It was uh, just over 300 yards. Uh, it would have been his first bull. We were trying to get everything set up so that we actually have real good footage for you guys to see and uh, we, we didn't get it done. Man, we put in the time that week and we just couldn't get Jess, our cameraman, his first moose. The funny thing is, Warren takes over as cameraman, double punches the record button on Jess's first bull. And it's a 53 inch bull at that, a fantastic moose for central Ontario. I guess that's why he's our cameraman. Exactly. Speaking of cameras, I was so lucky on Mark's moose hunt. The motherboard goes down on my digital camera and for whatever reason, I have my old tape camera with me. And you never carry that tape camera. They're obsolete. We, we never do it. And by fluke, or maybe it was destiny for Mark, you did have that in your backpack. It bailed us out and you got that footage of his first moose. Okay. Let's check out that moose hunt. Okay, Mark, I'm gonna go uh, set up dirty good. Make her smell good. Uh, uh. I do that about every 15, 20 minutes. And as, as it gets closer to the evening, we'll pick up the pace about every five minutes. Uh. Seen a gay out. Yeah. Drops down. Yeah. There's a down. 
There's a lake just on the other side of those spruce trees there. a bed here from Moose Lane here. I stood here where Mark shot. So what I'm looking for is hair and blood. And we actually got hair with blood on it. So it's pretty good, pretty good sign he made a good shot. There you go buddy. He said I wouldn't find that. <laughs> hey, look at that. Yeah. Look at the blood on that thing. First beast. Santa came early this year. Had a big bruiser, but anyway, not bad for the first one. Uh, they all do this. Right? Show you the big antlers. <laughs> yeah. Look at the size of that. <laughs> for Mark to shoot that moose on video was just as exciting as me pulling the trigger. To help Mark fuel his passion and fuel this fire and getting outdoors is what we're about. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. This segment of Fuel the Fire TV is brought to you by North Meridian Enterprises. You know, that was such a close call for Rob and Mark to not get that moose, especially with the camera failure. But we're switching gears. We're here at the last day of the Manitoulin Expositors Salmon Classic for 2016. But we really wanted to show you some of the fishing opportunities up here on Manitoulin when it comes to salmon and trout. Okay, looks like we got a salmon on here. Oh, it's salmon for sure. Good size, mate. Chicken bean. Oh, she's running, she's running. I got collar, I got collar. Coming up inside. Watch that bolt. You gotta switch sides? Yep. Don't worry, don't worry. You gotta move back up, Mike. You don't run. This is Mike Krug's fish. 
fishing with Alex Sunrise Fishing Charters and trying to get some footage for the Salmon Derby for the Manitoulin Expositor with Fuel the Fire TV. And it's just Diane and I in the boat and things get get helter skelter uh, real quick when you have these fish that are fighting uh, so hard to, to get away from you. It's raining, it's the day before the Derby. We've only got a day to get it done. Get it in the water. Oh no! Okay, there you go. Oh. Alright, dog. Oh, that was a close call, folks. Oh yeah, just a gorgeous fish. Good job on the net, that was close. <laughs> We're fueling the passion and fueling the fire by getting outdoors. Hey folks, I'm here with Dave Patterson from the Manitoulin Expositor. These guys ran their first Simon Classic this year and I think it was a fantastic uh, endeavor. Yeah, fish started hot, a lot of fish came in real quick and big fish too, right off the bat. Over 400 fish were weighed. So. 400 fish and how many how many tickets were sold? Uh, just over 600. 600 tickets, that's great. Uh, it gets people outdoors and on the water and that's healthy for everybody. Next year, we're going to extend the Derby. Mm -hmm. It's gonna become four weeks. It's gonna start the last Saturday of July and run right through into August. Prize money, we're gonna increase. We're gonna add $5,000 more to the prize money. We're gonna give away $100 a day to the biggest fish each day. <laughs> I know I'm gonna be trying for that $100 every time we go out. I think it was a fantastic Derby, like I said. I think great job, kudos to Thanks. you. I appreciate and kudos it. to the Manitoulin Expositor. Remember folks, to fuel your passion and fuel the fire, you gotta get outdoors. We'll see you next week.